Hey, I thought I'd show my great farming method for this. Uh, I just finished the EX dungeon. Uh, it's honestly the least amount of fun I've had playing a Tails game, to be honest. Uh, there's just a ridiculous amount of HP sponge enemies that block and resist everything. I honestly didn't enjoy it that much at all. Um, unfortunately, the best equipment in the game is there, and due to the way that this game is structured, you basically will have to grind out those skills as soon as possible, either at the end of your first or second run, if you want to do challenge runs and you want to be optimal, because for some reason you can't carry over your gear in this game. I don't know why. Uh, as soon as I found that out, I kind of lost a lot of interest in doing uh, challenge runs, but if you do want to learn some skills before you start your run, uh, this is probably the best way to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put a bunch of dragon capability on Velvet. With this gear that I have right now, I have these adamantine boots and this linworm ring. What this does is it gives her 74% capability versus dragons. I could probably increase that even more. But at that point, uh, you're pretty much going to steamroll him. Pretty much the moment that you have him in a chain combo, uh, you can chain your mystic arts together and it's very rare that he will survive it. Uh, as far as I know, the dire foes, they increase in level, they scale more times you beat them, so I think that also determines how much grade you get. But the main formula for it is not getting KO'd for starters. You need to do that. And you'll have to finish him with a Mystic Art and not use any items. If you fulfill all those conditions, you will get hundreds of grade regardless of whatever difficulty you're on. As long as you're on uh, probably moderate or normal. It's actually not worth doing on simple because simple removes the resistances which uh, also removes their weaknesses, which means that she will do less damage overall. So the first thing you want to do is chain a bunch of battles together. Not even worth my time. Now I know someone's going to ask. Uh, I'm on the PC version. I have the super speed code on. Uh, if you're playing on console or if you're on PC and for some reason you <laughs> don't want to use this code that reduces a lot of the padding, uh, you will have to be careful with your geoboard usage because at this point. Uh, you're so over leveled that when you run over the geoboard, you run over, you run the geoboard over the enemies, they'll just disintegrate. Uh, obviously, you want to fight them to build your great multiplier up, so you'll have to balance it out. So what you do is you will have to reset the situation, you have to reset the room. When you have a great bonus going, if you save, be it a quick save or a save point, or you enter into town or someone gets KO'd, your great counter disappears your grade bonus disappears. So the only way that you can really safely refresh the enemies is to go into the cave. That will reset everything. Now you want to do this on the hardest difficulty, but at the same time, uh, if the AI dies, you get a pretty significant chunk of your, of your grade deducted. So you want to do it on the highest difficulty you can. Since I already did one take of this and all the AI died for whatever reason, <laughs> even to these easy enemies, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on intense, just for the sake of getting the point across. Now once you start getting to double grade encounter... Oh wait, here he is right here. <laughs> Get better. Okay, so if you're not in a dangerous encounter, uh, you will lose a lot of your bonus, but that's pretty much the way that you do it. The only difference would be uh, chaining the battles up to 2.0, getting in a dangerous encounter, and then just using Velvet and just steamrolling him. As you can see, he basically doesn't have any chance to move, and if the AI is smart enough to actually get a chain going, you can just chain into your Mystic Art and he'll pretty much die every time. 
Uh, as you can see, uh, that was only like a 1.3 grade multiplier, and it was not a dangerous encounter, and I still got 80 grade. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that again, because uh, it takes a, quite a while. I'm not sure if there's a limit on how much he can spawn, but that's basically how you'll do it. Uh, if you're on the PS4 version, it will be a little more difficult. Uh, I recommend leaving the enemies next to the cave entrance, leaving them alive until you're on your return trip. That way you can use the geo board and reset the room and still have enough time to refresh your counter and reset it again. But yeah, that's basically how you grind grade. This is pretty much the optimal method. Uh, you'll want to have as much dragon capability on Velvet as possible. Uh, even if he does manage to get an attack off, you'll pretty much will have a break soul ready so you can regenerate HP. Uh, the AI, well hopefully, I mean you can't really control them, hopefully they will get a chain going. At that point, uh, it's pretty much a wrap for him. So you just have to uh, just grind at it pretty much. But yeah, that's how it works. Uh, I'll probably put up another run of this later on. But do it on the highest difficulty that's tolerable for you. That will also reduce the uh, chance of the AI dying. If you have enough souls, then you can pretty much stay in break soul mode the whole time. As while you're Therionized, you will regenerate HP, and you pretty much keep him in hit stun. Uh, even if he does manage to break out because you're repeating moves or whatever, you can just put it on again, and it will pretty much break his guard. He will get very few chances to move. So just put it on the highest difficulty that you can tolerate. Uh, if you do have them get KO'd, they'll take a pretty huge deficit. So it's, it's ideal to just do it on whatever works for you. Anyway, uh, that's your grade shop method, or grade farming method. This works both for starting New Game Plus and for farming up abilities and skills for New Game Plus. Catch you guys later. Peace.